Okay, so product and quotient rule. So suppose we have the quotient, uh, the product rule of two functions. Here's your first function, which is x squared plus 1. Here's your second function, which is the square root of x. There's the times. That does not fall into our two rules. One where we have the constant rule that if f of x equals c, then f prime of x equals 0, and that if f of x equals x to the n, then f prime of x equals n x to the n minus 1. Those are the two basics. If I just had this guy, I'd be fine, because that would be just 2x, right? If I just had this one, that would be fine, because that's 1 half x to the negative 1 half. If there was a plus in there, I'd be fine, because I would be differentiating term by term. The times creates a problem. Right now, until we get 3.4, the problems that we are doing could be reduced by using algebra. And when, when you use algebra, then it becomes chain rule. Not cha I'm sorry, it becomes power rule. But once we add four, four, two, four, we're off to the races. So that's the product of two individual functions. Unfortunately, when we talk about differentiating the product of two functions, it is not the product of the one times the product of the other. Now, I don't develop the formula for this because this is not, this is brief calculus. If you want to see the development of the formula, I'm sure you could find it online just by doing um, the uh, development of product rule or something along that. And there's somebody has a video out there that goes through it. Or you can come to my office and I'd be happy to share it to you. So, product rule. So suppose f of x is composed of two functions, g of x and h of x. And that's like this guy is g of x and that guy is h of x. Two functions. Then the derivative of f with respect to x is f prime, that's how we know him by. Now, it is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now, I don't care who you differentiate first. Most of my students go backwards for me, and that's okay, too. But I always remember this. Every one gets a turn being differentiated. Everyone gets a turn being differentiated. So if I've got g and h, I differentiate g, multiply them times h, so I don't do anything to him. Then I add, I've already differentiated g, so h gets a turn times the derivative of h. So everybody gets a turn. If I had three of them, I'd have three terms. Everybody gets a turn being differentiated. So you don't have two things being differentiated in the, term, in the same term. Everybody gets one turn. So here we go. Suppose I have y equals 400, and that's a constant, times 15 minus x squared times 3x minus 2. Well, then what's y prime? Constant goes along for the ride. So that's 400 times the derivative with respect to x of the first factor times the second plus, now I've differentiated the, I'm going to differentiate 15 minus x squared, so now 3x minus 2 gets a turn. 400, because the, the constant goes along for the ride, I've already differentiated 15 minus x squared, and now I take the derivative of 3x minus 2. What happens is you do enough of these problems, you don't have to write this step anymore. You do this in your head. But until then, put it in. So it's 400 
the derivative of 15 minus x squared is what? Derivative of 15 is? Zero. zero. Derivative of minus x squared is? Two x. Minus 2x, right? Times 3x minus 2 plus 400. 15 minus x squared has already been differentiated. Times, what's the derivative of 3x? 3. 3. What's the derivative of negative 2? Zero. 0. Now, by the way, at this stage in the game, while we're just learning, leave it here. That's going to be your answer. Now, I provided for you the instructor solutions manual. So what you want to do is, when you're working these kinds of problems, you work it down to this point, open up the instructor solutions manual, and see if indeed they got that for that step. Don't worry about simplifying it yet. Because we've got to get the derivatives down first, because simplifying it is algebra. So we want the calculus piece down so that we know we got the calculus correct. Then we'll work on the algebra. One, one challenge at a time. Because the algebra is going to have its own challenge. Now, f of x equals, and there it is. Here is, there's a constant. There is the first guy, and here is the second guy. So there's number one, and there's number two. So what's f prime? Well, he's the constant times derivative of the first <coughs> times the second. That's the square root of x. How do I rewrite the square root of x? x to the 1 half plus. Now what you're going to find is sometimes you're going to run out of paper with some of these problems. A negative 3 constant. I've already differentiated the first one. At least it's set up to be done. Now I take the derivative of the second. Because everybody gets a turn. And see, so all the derivatives boil down to the basics. All boils down to the basics. And what you find out with differentiation is this. If you can differentiate the individual pieces, you can differentiate the whole thing. You just have to remember the rule. Because we've already differentiated 5x cubed minus 2x plus 5. So that's not a problem. We can do that. We already did something similar to that. And we can differentiate x to the 1 half plus 2x. We've already done things that are similar to that. If I can di differentiate them individually, I can do the whole thing. It's all being able to recognize the pieces. And that's going to be half the battle. The, the other half of the battle is remembering the formulas. So they become part of you. You do enough so they become part of you. So negative 3 times the derivative of 5x cubed is what? 15x squared minus 2x. The derivative of minus 2x is? And the derivative of 5 is? And then here's the guy who doesn't get differentiated this time. A minus 3 times, I've already differentiated this one. What's the derivative of x to the 1 half? 1 half, one half x to the negative. negative 1 half plus the derivative of 2x is 2. two. And right now, that's where you would leave your answer. They're not designed to be simplified. They really aren't at this point. 
So you check to see, is that what the instructor...